All right, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create a shared folder between your Windows host and your Ubuntu guest machine uh, in VirtualBox. So here's our uh, machine here, Node.js box here. And if you go through the settings, you'll see this thing here called shared folders. So this basically is asking us what folders we want to share against this machine. So please note that the machine is currently powered off. So all I've got here in my documents is um, a folder called VM Shares. I'm just going to create a new um, folder in here called um, Node.js Box. Um, obviously, the name doesn't matter, and you can point it at anything you like. And just while I'm in here, I'll just create a new text file. Um, this is here. And just put a little bit of text into that. So let's pull that in there. So this is some text. Just so we can see it all working. Okay. So um, let's close that down and go back to this. So now if I go into my shared folders here, what I can do is add one. So let's add this folder. And now it's going to look for the path. Uh, and it's going to go into all of this junk here. And let's see, where do I have this stuff? Uh, libraries, documents, my docs, somewhere down the bottom, I've got VM shares. And there's our Node.js box here, which I've just created. So I'll click OK on that. Now, a couple of settings here. Um, you can make it read only or, or and auto mount. Now, I don't want it to be read only. I want bi-directional on that. Um, but I will want to auto mount that. So. Um, auto mount means that every time the machine starts, it'll go and find this and load it into our machine, uh, our VM that is. So click OK on that. So access full, click OK, and we should be good to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the Node.js box uh, just by doing that, and that'll come up. Okay, we have our Node.js box running here now. Um, now, the question is, where did this thing actually go? So if I go into my file manager here, uh, if you go down to the computer, uh, it resides in media. And this is it here. So this is our um, SF Node.js box. So that is our shared uh, folder from called Node.js coming from over there. So if I have a quick look in here, it says, you do not have permissions necessary to view the content, contents of this. So this is not exactly helpful to us. So there's a couple of things we need to do to uh, see what's going on here. Um, a few little trips or tips along the way. So I'm just going to close that. I'm going to open up Terminal by typing Control-Alt-T. And uh, just go to the root of this. LS there. So CD Media. LS there. So this is our folder here. So cd sf underscore node, and if you hit the tab, it'll just do an autocomplete there for you, uh, and we still can't get into it. So at this point, what we need to do is change over to a, a super user. So if you do sudo su, and then it'll ask you for your password. Uh, now you'll see here we're actually in as root. So we're no longer user node.js, we are now user root. So if I ls on this and cd as before, actually I can't do that. Um, sf. Okay, and now I can go in and you can see the text is here. Um, so we can do a listing, but the problem we have at the moment is the only person that can get at this thing is root, and that's not exactly a good idea. So what we need to do next is, um, well, let's have a little look at what's going on here uh, before I do anything else, actually. So what I'm going to do is, actually, I'm in this root at the moment, so I'm going to fire up Nautilus, which is, oops, uh, okay, something went wrong there. So let's have a look at the computer. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm accessing the file system as root using this thing. Uh, that's probably what I was looking for. So if I go into media and if I right click over this and look at its properties, 
you'll see here under permissions, the owner is root, which is currently me. The group it, the, also has access to this is VBox SF, and these also can add, uh, create and delete files. And nobody else has got anything else. So basically, our user, uh, Node.js, um, doesn't have access to that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is close this down and close this down. And what we need to do is add some permissions. Okay, there's a bit of a boo-boo going on there, so I'll just shut this down, close that terminal. Um, control alt T again. Uh, what we need to do is change the user permissions, or more to the point, what we need to do is add this Node.js user to the SF box uh, user group, our VBox SF user group. So we do that by typing in sudo user mod a capital G to add uh, that to add our user to user group the group here of vbox sf uh, and then what we're going to do is use a nice little command here um, i so this basically is going to add the current user so the who am i part to the vbox sf user group and with a bit of luck that should then give us access so in goes that uh, okay so that's been done, but this will not take effect until we reboot the machine. So I'm just going to do a sudo reboot on this and we'll come back. Okay, we are back into uh, Ubuntu. So let's have a look in the file system here. Let's go back into the computer. Let's have a look at media. And this is the our thing, our folder, SF Node.js box. And as you can see, we now have access to it. So I can open that with gedit. And there we go, this is some text. So for hoots and giggles, let's go this, oops, is from you too. So we'll just add a bit of text to that. Hit save. Uh, unexpected, blah, 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 blah text file busy. I have no idea why that would be the case. Uh, it is possible that I have it running somewhere else. Uh, although I did think I shot it, shut it down. Okay. Um, well, we'll save that time. Sorry, maybe I was just doing too much. Anyway, so we'll just open the gedit again, just have a quick look. Uh, that's that there. So if I close it now, I'm going to close this. Um, what I'm going to do is just have a quick look over into the Windows folder here. Uh, we seem to have a temporary file coming in there. So let's have a quick look at this. Uh, open with Notepad. And there you go. So this is from Ubuntu. So those files are being uh, just transferred over and back. So we can do the same thing over here as well. So open with Notepad. Uh, let's see. This is... Windows with an N and we'll just save that and close it down and go back in here. Let's have a quick look. Let's find our media folder again, Node.js box and let's have a look at this. And there we go, this is Windows. So now we have files um, transferring over and back and the contents of the files so we can keep everything uh, in sync between the two devices. All right, thank you very much.